Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Weitzel from Columbus State University, and today we're here to talk about F and G major scales on the double bass. This video is specifically talking about the technique involved uh, in these scales, most specifically the fingerings. So starting with F major scale, you're going to start with your first finger on half position, which is a half step from the nut. So you have the E, then you have F. Okay. Once you find that F with your first finger, first finger on the F, we're going to put fourth finger on the G. We're going to go to open A, fourth finger B flat on the A string, fourth finger on the C, open D, second finger on the D string, and fourth finger F. So that's our first octave. Let's go on to the second. Um, you have the open G, second finger on the A, fourth finger on the B, B flat, by the way. And now just start thinking of two notes per position. So let's shift an entire hand. So that's a first finger on the C, fourth finger on the D. And again, we're gonna shift the entire hand, but with the fingers a little more compressed. But instead of putting your first finger, you're going to put your second finger on the E. Sorry about that. Touch it just a little bit. And then fourth finger down the F. And descending, we're going to have exactly the same fingering. So two notes per position. F with four, E natural with second. Shift, fourth finger on the D. First finger on the C. Now shift all the way back to half position. So remember that distance from the nut. You're gonna put your fourth finger on the B flat. Second finger on the A, open G, cross to the D string with fourth finger. Second finger on the E, open D, fourth finger, the C, first finger on the B flat, open A, fourth finger on the G, and first finger on the F. Maybe a little faster this time. I'm gonna try to just stay with the fingering. So starting first finger on the E string. So one, four, open A, one, four, open D, two, four, open G, two, four, shift one, Fourth finger D, second finger E, and F. Two on the E, four on the D, first on the C. All the way, half position with four. Two, open, four, two, open, four, one, open, four. For the arpeggio, the arpeggio is going to be one on the F, then you get open A, four finger C, and just cross your four finger to the D string, so you have an F. From there, we're going to shift on the D string with the same four finger, so big shift to the A. And the reason we do that is because if you cross with your first finger to the G string, you already have the C there. So you don't have to shift again. Now you have to shift to the top F. And go back to that first uh, finger C, four finger A, and go back down. Four, open, and one. Put it in context. We have
G major. So G major, instead of starting with your hand on half position, I want you to think of that G of the F major. And we're going to put your second finger there. So where your fourth finger was before, we're going to put your second finger. So you have a G. And you can compare with the open G. Once you find that G, you're going to go to open A. So open A, first finger B natural, second finger C, open D, first finger E, fourth finger F sharp, and open G. Alright, now we're going to start shifting on the G string. So we have two notes per position. So open G, first finger A, fourth finger B. Now we're going to shift, first finger on C natural, fourth finger D, first finger on E natural, fourth finger F sharp, and now you can extend your hand slightly to get the harmonic. You know, you're just going to touch that string very lightly, and you have a G harmonic in there. So basically you have a combination of one, four, one, four, one, four, and you have that slight... Uh, shift for the harmonic and when you descend we're gonna keep the same pattern so starting on the harmonic with fourth finger some people play that with third finger is totally fine I'm gonna do with fourth for now I'm gonna shift back half step with fourth finger on the F sharp so it's not that far right first finger on the E natural now shift your entire hand fourth finger on the D first finger on the C and again fourth finger on the B First finger on the A, open G. Fourth finger on F sharp, and here there is no shift involved. Uh, we're just gonna stay here on first position. All right. That in context would be. first position so just an octave you know lower than that open G it's worth comparing make sure you find that position so we're gonna start with second finger on the G first finger on the B on the A string open G and open G as you play that open G make sure you shift all the way to the heel of the neck um, we talked about that on the other video right where my thumb can't go forward anymore right so that's the heel of the neck. And we're going to put the fourth finger on the D. On the, sorry, B. So as I'm using the open string, I'm already anticipating my left hand. And I'll cross my first finger to the D. And shift to the harmonic. And go back. Fourth finger. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Use the open string. Context would be putting both together, the scale and the arpeggio, we would have.
this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to email me anytime at whitesoul underscore patricia at columbusstate.edu. Happy practicing.